Spoilers for Tar. So, I needed a lot of time to grapple with this movie, if that makes sense. I think this film was absolutely wonderful. I went into this film having seen nothing about it, aside from the fact that there's a conductor and it's about music. As someone who used to attend a conservatory, I thought I would give it a shot, and boy was that a good decision. Kate Blanchett plays Lydia Tarr, a world-renowned composer slash conductor who starts to lose her way. Through themes of power, legacy, manipulation, and greed, Tarr grows from someone we respect to someone we fear. I'm still lost as to what is happening mentally for the character, which is what disappoints me the most. This character is so complex and flawed and extremely engaging. Where I find a problem is with the psychological horror uh, that comes and goes in the film. I can't really tell if there's supposed to be this entity toying with Tar or if she's just going mad. Maybe that's the point. But when you have random metronomes and doorbells setting off, as well as symbolisms of Krista, a girl who killed herself because of Tar's manipulation, the line starts to blur a bit too much for me. I also want to mention the scene where Tar's daughter is crying in her bed and the background appears to have like a body in a chair. Maybe I'm missing something here and maybe I'm the only one who saw it, but definitely really uh, strange to me. Don't really know what that means. Frankly, that is my biggest drawback of the film though. I personally wish more went into explaining uh, what is happening with these oddities. I also would like to mention the scene where Olga gets dropped off and Tar follows her. It seems like it was setting up for this horror film and then it's never really touched on again. Same with the odd phone live stream slash text thing. It happened twice and I don't really know how to make sense of it. I don't know if it was supposed to be Olga or what, but it was a bit off for me. The story is extremely engaging though, and once I started it, I was hooked. I would like to say that this film is 2 hours and 38 minutes, and you can definitely feel that in the end. The first 30 minutes were also a slow burn. In the first 30-ish minutes, there are, I think, only three scenes, uh, two which are extremely long cuts that has Kate giving these wonderful monologues uh, and giving a lot of context and story to her character without it feeling like an exposition dump. I especially love the scene with Max, the student who gets into an argument with Tar about Bach. The argument scene also shows what Tar will turn out to be by the end of the film too. In the argument, Tar separates what Bach has done in the past and his music. The audience believe Tar won this argument, but it turns out her story ends by having the two parts come together for herself. Her music means nothing when she sexually assaults women, uses her power for manipulation, and lies to see others fail. When this is exposed to the world, protests arise and people start to complain. I think it's pretty clear the direction of this film uses heavy themes of giant powerful individuals and cancel culture. What's funny is the timing really. Uh, this film came out around the time that Justin Roiland, a uh, major piece in entertainment, uh, got accused and put under fire. It's clear that power gets to people's heads. What's even more sad is that in Tar's case, the players in her ensemble know this, but fear for her their removal if they say anything or speak out. The dialogue is wonderful as well. Conversations feel real without interruption and pauses that make you feel like there wasn't a script. Uh, rather an idea that the director said, all right, go on. Uh, the cast was incredible too. Starting with Kate Blanchett, I mean, she knocks it out of the park with this one. Absolutely stellar and really puts me on the fence for uh, best actress. The way she's able to convey so much through her movement while conducting, or her speech through monologues, she really embodies someone who grew up watching or listening and playing with music. Nina Haas is amazing as Tara's wife. Uh, she gives so much expression, especially near the end of the film with the collapse of Tar. Noemi Merlant, I think that's how you say it. Uh, is also a noteworthy addition to the cast. Personally, the end of the film left me wanting a little bit more. I think showing the trip to Asia is important, but it was just way too long for me. If you wanted this to be an ending that wraps it up nicely, it works like 98%. Again, I think the idea of the Asian country scenes showed too much. I really did enjoy this film, uh, and I think I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Thank you everybody who watched this video. If you can't tell from the past, uh, I think three videos now, uh, I've been wearing the exact same thing and uh, that's because I have to request time in the recording studio. This isn't mine. 
so I go in here in bulk and record the reviews and then just uh, edit them and release them weekly. But I do hope that you all have been enjoying this adventure with me um, watching the Oscar nominations. Yeah. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe, you know all that. Um, and thank you.